Matchup three brings you the Asian sensation, 0 and 1, and that damn Serb, 0 and 1. Um, the Serb is new to the league. The Asian is. Well, he's not new, but uh, if he wins, it'd be new to winning for him. Um, ESPN has it projected very close. He has the Asian at 105 and that damn Serb at 103. You know, I don't ever agree with ESPN. Um, I do think it's going to be a close matchup. However, I don't think either of them are going to hit the 100-point uh, mark. Um, that damn serve got hurt last week because the running game in Houston, uh, Matt Schaub, who I have in another league, um, it really killed us because since the running game was so on, they didn't have to pass. Um, but I see Schaub throwing a lot more. Like I said, Andre Johnson was going to have a huge week, so is Schaub. Schaub's going to put up around 18 to 20 points this week. Um, the Asian is keeping Brett Favre. I don't know how many weeks he's going to need. Favre's going to be a bust this year. I said it before the season. I'm going to say it every single week. Favre against Miami's defense, uh, I see maybe 12 points, maybe 10. Um, middle of the lineup, we have Turner, Green, and Ward for the Serb. We have Brown, Barber, and Nene for uh, the Colts. Um, the problem with the Serb, I like his backs. I told you I didn't like Sean Green. I do not like first-year people or at least first-year starters um, in fantasy. You just never know what they're going to do. Sean Green was quickly benched after his two fumbles last week, quickly benched, and he barely saw time after that. You saw him completely lose confidence. Um, I definitely think he's going to be one of the biggest busts of the year. Sean Green... About seven points this week against uh, New England. I got Michael Turner against Arizona. Arizona might be having QB problems. Their defense lost a few people, but they're still a pretty darn strong defense, um, especially against the run. Um, but Michael Turner, I think, sees the end zone. 13 points for Michael Turner this week. Um, Hines Ward against Tennessee. Like I said, I don't like Hines Ward. Dennis Dixon doesn't seem like he has a giant rapport with him. I'm thinking four points for Hines Ward this week. Um, Asian sensation. He's got, the, he's got Roddy Brown going against Minnesota's run defense. The New Orleans Saints ran all over the, the Vikings. The Vikings are a great run defense. Um, it didn't show in week one, but they, they're a great run defense, and I think they're going to really step it up. Roddy Brown, he, they, they like to run the game, but I, I'm thinking they're going to be limiting him to about eight points this week. Um, Marion Barber. Who knows what he's going to do. I think he's only going to get six points this week against Chicago. Um, Chicago actually did very good holding down Javadi Best in uh, Detroit. And Dallas doesn't even seem like they want to run if you watched uh, Sunday night's game. They don't even seem like they want to run. They, they're, anytime they will want to run, all they do is throw a quick pass out to the, out to the sideline. Um, I don't see any points coming, um, any big points coming from Marion Barber this week. Uh, Lanu Nene, um, other than his his really long blown coverage uh, catch touchdown pass that he got last week. He's dropping balls. He's not running around. He's not getting open. Um, but Philip Rivers does. They, they throw the ball a lot. I still see Mune getting about eighty point uh, eight points this week. Um, in receivers, uh, I have to definitely give the the edge to the Serb. Marshall, Ocho Cinco, um, but they're both going against stout defenses. Marshall against Minnesota, um, Ocho Cinco against Baltimore. Unfortunately for him, those defenses are going to really uh, shut him down. Uh, both of them combined, I'm actually seeing only about 22 points, maybe 22 points, and I, I think I'm being a little generous there. Um, on the other side, the Asian, um, I don't like his receivers as much, but. The Moss is going against a Houston defense who gives up passing. He, they get up yards. And McNabb seemed to love throwing to Santana Moss. Though the, the Washington offense didn't it looked like absolute crap. They couldn't find the end zone. Um, but yardage-wise, I think Moss is going to get you about six to seven points. Um, Steve Smith from the Giants against the Indy defense. Um, we don't even know if Indy can stop the pass this year. But with Bob Sanders out, we know they can't stop the run. Um, but Steve Smith is definitely the go-to guy for uh, Eli Manning. The problem is Hakeem Nix looks like he's the go-to guy in the end zone for uh, Eli Manning. So we'll see how that ke if that keeps panning out. But the possession receiver in uh, New York is still definitely Steve Smith, uh, number two. Um, I see Steve Smith. I see, see, I see. Let me see. She sells seashore. It's by the seashore. Um, I see Steve Smith getting about 12 points this week. Um, my, and uh, 
Dallas Clark against the Giants. I see him also getting about 13 points against Greg Olson. I keep telling him that they have served the, the bench him. He's not listening to me. When he's going to realize the Mike Martz offense does not like the tight end. I told you, I told you to start Vashante Shanko last week. I'm going to tell you again. I am pleading you. If you want me to pick you to win, please put on Vashante Shanko. Farm likes to throw to the tight end. Martz keeps tight ends in to block. You cannot catch passes when you are staying in to block. So please, fantasy dud again until you take him out of your lineup is Greg Olson. Fantasy stud, though, you also have the fantasy stud on your team, that damn serve. You have uh, Matt Schaub. Going to light it up this week. Like I said, 18, 20 points out of, out of the whole matchup. I think actually 18 and 20 points is going to be the high water mark for either of them. I see a close matchup, but I see it actually in the uh, high 70s or very, very low 80s. Um, but my prediction is Teddy Ballgame beats the noob, and he beats him by four. Sorry. If you put in Vishante, I'll favor you by two. Have a good day, guys.